Welcome to the Content 10X Podcast, the show where content creators learn how to harness the power of content repurposing. And now, your host, Amy Woods. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the Content 10X Podcast. I'm your host, Amy Woods, and this week is about how to approach your content during a global crisis. Now, I'm recording this episode during COVID-19 pandemic, which is affecting everyone. I don't think that anyone listening to this show, unfortunately, will be unaffected by what's going on. Now, if you're listening to this in the future, if you pick this up, you know, months or a year after, then I really, really hope that things have calmed down and we're looking back at it differently. But right now we're looking at a considerable amount of people in self-isolation, social distancing being either recommended or mandated. So no large gatherings or in some countries, no gatherings of any size at all at the moment. Borders are closing, flights are grounded, schools closing, public places like cafes, shops, libraries, gyms close. So it's absolutely worrying times for everyone from obviously a health perspective, but also the social and economic impact of it all. Now, don't worry in this episode, I'm not dwelling on the situation or suddenly becoming a pandemic expert or anything like that. I want to talk to you about content and hopefully provide you with some clarity and guidance as to what I think you should be doing. Because I run Content 10X, a creative agency where we repurpose and create content for our awesome clients. And we also create a lot of content for ourselves as well. We have our podcast, our blog, we do video content. So I've been asked by a lot of people recently the question, should I be creating content right now? What kind of content or, you know, just what do I do? And I think on some social platforms and personally, I'd say Twitter is the worst in my opinion. People are being criticized for BAU content, business as usual content with no apparent change in approach given whatsoever. And people are saying, how dare they? Then there's other people who are being criticised for jumping on the coronavirus bandwagon and doing all they can to milk it from different angles. You know, from some people's perspective, people just jumping on it and then being criticised. You know, how can you try and, you know, gain from this current situation? And I understand why people are therefore wondering, it's kind of like you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. What content do I put out there? What if I look BAU? What if I'm jumping on it? I don't really know what to do. So I wanted to share my thoughts. Now, obviously, it really does depend on what industry you're in and the kind of content that you create and who your audience is. But overall, I don't think that you should stop creating and publishing content. Now, firstly, you want to stay front of mind during this challenging time and you don't want to disappear into obscurity. The crisis basically shows no sign of abating anytime soon, unfortunately. So we have to be in this with a view that it's more of a marathon than a sprint and a very challenging and not particularly pleasant marathon, but that's what it is. So to stop creating content makes no sense to me. Now, secondly, people are going to have more time on their hands as well. They are going to be consuming more content. And I think as content creators, we owe it to our audience to create new relevant content for them. There's a lot of negative content at the moment about the crisis and just all kinds of things on social media out there. Something's quite toxic, to be honest. And I think that we as content creators need to be balancing that out and turning it more to the positive by creating content that our audience can consume that is going to be really useful and helpful and hopefully uplifting, but at least relevant and useful for them. So your content may be to help them do something differently, take something up for the first time, spend their time more wisely by implementing advice that you have given them. So I think we need to ensure that good content positive, good and useful content is feeding the minds of people who happen to be spending more time at home. And thirdly, I think you must assess what content you are creating and publishing. So everything I've just said, you should continue. People will be consuming more content. So it's a really good idea to be feeding people's minds with your content, but it really does depend on your content and you must assess what it is. I don't mean that you do just carry on regardless. You do need to review your planned content. Make sure it's not inappropriate. If you have to amend or reference things, just to make it more relevant, then do so. 
look at where you can be positive and uplifting. And I know it's very cliche to say adding value, but I think, you know, that kind of content is really important, but also just help to distract, educate and entertain people at this time as well. So that's key as well. And I think for many people, it's looking at a bit of a pivot to their content as well. Now, for example, if you're, let's say, a personal trainer or a gym and you're sharing content about how to actually work out from home and things that you can do remotely and um, teaching people what they can do in their houses and also maybe even do things like live streams and do live at home workouts with people. So it's all about reviewing your content and then pivoting where appropriate as well. And I think that's a really important point during isolating times for people, consider whether to change the kind of content you create into more engaging and community building type formats. For example, start live streaming, create a group and start putting content into the group and create more of a community there. And I'm going to be sharing more tips on this in the coming episodes in terms of the content that we can create for people who may be as I said, in more kind of isolated circumstances at the moment. But one thing that I want to acknowledge in this episode is that I totally get that you may be really worried at the moment. Um, you may have kids at home and be actually really strapped for time in terms of creating new content. And you might just have a you know, mind in a place at the moment where creating content is going to be hard for you. And if that's the case, then consider how you could repurpose your content to stay front of mind. Because it's likely that you've got a whole treasure trove of content. And now is the time to work out what would be really helpful for your audience right now that you could repurpose it and bring it back to life again. So do that review of your content and work that out. What's the most useful and be really intentional as well with what you're sharing and why. Maybe you need to tweak some of it a little bit. Maybe it's fine as it is. And then start to work out how you could repurpose that. So you're not at least starting from scratch with brand new content. You've got those gems from the past and you're repurposing them. So let's say you have five podcast episodes that you recorded that are really, really helpful for your audience right now. You know that in those five episodes, you're really going to address problems that they have. Now, create social media posts about those episodes, share key tips and takeaways from them as tweets, for example, jump on video, talk about them, maybe on Instagram or IGTV and share why you think those episodes would be really helpful and what people would gain. And even you know, create a LinkedIn article, create a post about that content. And you don't have to do all of this yourself. Like if you really are strapped for time, for example, if the kids are at home and it's really challenging, then get some help as well if you can. You can get help from you know people perhaps in your team who have the skill set to help with this repurposing, hire someone in, or of course, contact us at Content 10X for our content repurposing service. But my big point here is if you don't have bandwidth or headspace to create new content, identify what do you have created in the past that could be really helpful right now? Adjust it if needed, repurpose and reshare it. Stay front of mind and provide people with great content that they deserve so they don't get caught in you know, toxic Twitter debates and things like that. Instead, be the hero sharing that great content to your audience. Okay, so thank you so much for listening to this week's podcast episode. I really do appreciate it. If you'd like to find out more about our content repurposing services, then do head to content10x.com and you'll find out everything there. And if you haven't got a copy yet, then please do get a copy of my book, Content 10X, More Content, Less Time, Maximum Results. You can get that on my website, content10x.com forward slash book, or just go to Amazon and you'll find it there through a search. And please do follow me on social media. I am at Content 10X on all of the social media platforms and spend most of my time over on Instagram. Instagram. So thank you so much for listening and I'll catch you in the next episode. Bye.